Solicitor General Kagan, I'm one of the others, so um, let me welcome you to the committee. I have been amazed and disappointed as to how the brilliant, trailblazing legal career of Thurgood Marshall has been portrayed by several of my colleagues. Justice Marshall came from Baltimore, Maryland, the city where I was born, the state of Maryland that I have the honor of representing in the United States Senate. And Justice Marshall was one of the great Americans that have come from Maryland, and we're very proud of what he's meant to this country. It's interesting that this week on July 2nd, we'll celebrate his 92nd birthday. And I must tell you, we've had a great deal of discussion about background. As you know, Justice Marshall was the great grandson of a slave. And he grew up in a segregated country. I talked during my opening statements about how I remember attending segregated public schools in Baltimore City. I also remember swimming pools and theaters and amusement parks that were restricted as to who could attend, and who could, could be there. So we talk a lot about empathy, we talk a lot about background, we talk about how important that is, but on behalf of the millions of Americans who have benefited from Thurgood Marshall's public service, I'm glad he brought his real world experiences to public service. He helped make a more perfect union and made a real difference in the lives of Americans. I agree with the Legal Defense Fund in their release where they say, simply put, Thurgood Marshall helped make our union more perfect. And the le legacy illuminates the highest possibilities for all Americans, yesterday, today, and tomorrow.